Let's know about the history of Orhia cinema since 1930. Welcome to Lakshmi Narayan's blog and please subscribe if you are new to here. Odisha has a history of filmmaking starting from 1936. Sita Vibah is the first Odia film made by Mohan Sundar Dev Goswami in 1936 drawing from the Indian epic Ramayan The film plot was made from a drama written by Kampal Mishra prepared with a budget of only 30000 the film has 14 song sequences Despite it being the first Odia film with several drawbacks in every section of its making the Tuar long movie generated great enthusiasm among the people It was released in Lakshmi Talkies at Puri The 12 read film had in its cast Mark Kanlal Banerjee who received only 120 rupees for his performance Aditya Balav Mohanty Lakshman who got only 35 rupees as conveyance allowance and prapti devi as sita who was paid the highest amount of 150 rupees this was a landmark film of the orhia film industry the pace of orhia film production in the initial years was very slow after sita biba only two films were produced until 1951 a joint consortium of landlords and businessmen who collected funds after 1948 produced those two movies the 1951 production rolls to eight was the first odia film with an english name it was released 15 years after the first odia film sita biba it was the fourth odia film produced by ratikant padhi The 11th Odia film Shri Loknath was directed by Prafulla Sengupt and received the national award in 1960. The same year Prasanth Nand won the national film award for best feature film in Odia for his debut film Nuabo. His name would always be synonymous with the Odia film industry. He was present in Odia films since 1959. but he became very active only after 1976 Mr Nand was an actor director screenplay writer lyricist and playback singer Prasanth Nand won national awards 3 times in 1960 1966 and 1969 for his acting in Nuabo Matir Manisha and Adina Meek Muhammad Emichesin started the revolution in the Odia film industry by not only securing the essence of the Odia culture but also changing the way the film industry watched Odia movies. Phula Chandan was written by Ananda Shankar Das. He belongs to Katak. His movies heralded the golden era of the Odia film industry by bringing in freshness to Odia movies. His directorial debut was Phula Chandan for which he won the Odisha State Film Award for Best Director. He had to his credit 16 box office successful movies in his directorial stint. He started as an actor in character roles and gave household names like Raka to Odisha. Amya Ranjan Patnaik who started his career directing Mamta Mej Mula changed the dimension of the Odia film industry by producing big budget movies with multiple star casts which was a new trend at that time he introduced many newcomers musicians technicians and singers from mumbai and chennai he also produced the national award winning film hakim babu in 1985 directed by pranab das This film Pua Mor Kala Thakur directed by Raju Mishra was one of the biggest successes in the Odia film industry followed by Chaka Aakhi Sabu Dekhuchi and Asuchi Mo Kaliya Suna He frequently collaborated with Raju Mishra Akshay Mohanty Vijay Mohanty and Uttam Mohanty 
He started the trend of producing trilingual films in the Oriya film industry. Raja Rani, Pardeshi Babu and Pari Mahal were made in Oriya, Bengali and Bangladeshi. He made a comeback as a director and made Tulsi Appa produced by his son Anupam Patnaik. Tulsi Appa was a critical success within many international festivals. This was the first biopic of Odisha based on Padmashri Tulsi Munda. Uttam Mohanty, whose debut film Abhiman won accolades, was very successful in the 1980. His wife Aparajitha Mohanty is also an actress. Critics have named Vijay Mohanty and Mihir Das to be two of the best Odia actors so far 80 and 90s. In 1990s Siddhant Mahapatra a new generation star with his action and comedy movies gave national recognition to Odia industry. Actress Nandita Das who acted in several Hindi movies like Fire has an Odia origin.